Yale Brothers, Episode 42. Hey guys, what's happening? My name's Chris Yale. And I'm Roger Yale. And we're the Yale Brothers, and this is episode 42. That's amazing to me. Here we are. Uh, happy Father's Day, everybody. That That is a father. Yes, if you're not a father, then n- not happy Father's Day. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, what an what a, uh, interesting find, that, that live tape we we unearthed that's crazy. yeah that was our band kirby and the gators and when is it may it was may 19th 1989 it's only 32 years ago yeah and that was at the central aka the viper room yeah we used to play there a lot for uh, zero money yeah that's yeah. weird but we're not alone in playing like shows in la like that yeah but uh that was called i call your name it was one of my songs I have an old uh, four track of it too, but this one had a little a reworking thanks to Ian Talcroft and his his open tuned slide guitar or whatever. Yeah, that was cool. We got had Steve Kabashigawa on bass and vocals, and Jim Alden and me on drums, and me and Ian and me and Ian and Chris exactly, and Bob Arway doing all the uh, the heavy lifting. Is that the sound guy? No. That was Ian's friend that used to used to roadie for him. Remember Bob? Oh my God! Bob Arway would sit to the, on the side of the stage and tune Ian's guitars. No, kind of. Wow, that's crazy. I don't really remember that. That's cool. Yeah. Every, yeah, he was cool, man. He was into it. Oh yeah, that was cool. The Central was an interesting place. You'd like come upstairs, go through the downstairs, haul your no, 
No, no, no. You can go up this. No, you can. You, on Sunset, there was a little door you could you could go in, but you usually have to end up going down the side street. Yeah, but up the stairs. Up the stairs, but you could sidle in on Sunset. That's like the exit. It's yeah, not, but remember that little dressing room downstairs. Yeah, that little green room kind yeah, of thing. Why, and why were we playing every song so damn fast? Uh-huh. <laughs> no comment. I don't know. Maybe we're, maybe it was a time crunch. I doubt that. I'd like to hear more more songs. I mean, I listened to that tape, but I'd like to put up more of those songs. That's yeah, sure. Cool. I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. That's crazy. I. Uh, I think we people tend to be a little start songs fast live. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I like I heard some playback of my one of the some of the solo show at Lulu's I did. Yeah. I thought I was playing it at a reasonable tempo, but it was fast. Maybe you're just trying to get through the show. Oh my god. Instead of being in the moment, inhabiting the music, as getting you deep down into the groove. Mm. That's the way to really do it, man. Sometimes I yeah. think sometimes songs seem interminably is that a word? <laughs> interminably. Interminably slow, man, when you're starting them sometimes. Yeah. But I, they're really the right tempo. Yeah, no wonder. Sometimes I feel like, oh, you gotta speed this shit up. Yeah. But you know what? I'm I'm li- in my mind I'm not listening to the music. I'm listening to another song. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, and I'm and I'm dr- and I, I and I'm anticipating some boop some run i gotta do that's later oh, oh no 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 you can't do that man no no you can't do that like the whole time i play that a song for you that leon russell song i'm always dreading that little uh that little break in the no, middle i'm blanking out i know like i mean it, blank it, out it messes you up then I'm blank out it messes you up then and before yep because you're thinking and, about that and if it's recorded it messes you up for posterity yeah that's okay I've got so much stuff for posterity that I'm embarrassed about anyway. Ooh. But um, one of those things is I, I, do you hear lyrics right? I mean, is this a thing? I know a lot of people mess up lyrics. Yes, I do. You have these misheard lyric things. and Everybody has misheard lyrics, yeah, but I uh, oh, I strive to hear properly. And How, if I don't know, I try to find out. Yeah, but I mean, when lyric sheets came, were included with albums, that's cool. But I mean, still... Are you sure in Sweet Caroline it's one touching one? Because I heard... No, I don't know. I, I heard warm touching warm. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? It's more of a thing than one touching one. That sounds a little generic. I think... Well, you can't trust those lyric yeah, websites, like the, man. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no it way. seems like warm touching warm. But a couple of places I went to says one touching one. And you want to be true to Neil Diamond. <laughs> Yeah, that's my life's goal. <laughs> yeah, that's my life's goal, man. To be yeah. true. I mean, people love it for some reason. You haul, you trot out uh, Sweet Caroline and people do the bop, bop, ba, And so good, so good, so good. But I, I think it's one touching one. Okay. No, you, I, I can see you through my periphery. I, I'm not allowed to be on this facing the same direction as Chris in this podcast. Why? Oh, yeah, it's only because of sound. Plus, yeah. I don't like you looking at me. Yeah. It's like having plexiglass around the drums. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you have it yet? It says one touching one on this one. On that, It says one touching one on that warm. Oh, don't be ridiculous, man. <laughs> no, stuff like that. I mean, she's got electric boot, boobs. I know her too. <laughs> All that stuff. It, I think it's one touching one. I, it would have been, Neil, it would have been better warm touching warm. Well, that means that's something what I thought else of. entirely, that's what I thought doesn't about. it? That's what, how I thought it was for 40 plus years. Warm touching warm makes sense. You touch someone's warm hand, you know you know they're alive. <laughs> you touch someone's warm. I touch your warmth and you touch mine. Okay, so. Can you feel my heat, baby? Oh, okay. Come on. All right. Come but, on. But why Why do you think it's a Come on. Str- <laughs> yeah. Is it a strange relationship? So with- this one says warm touching warm. Which which side? Azlyrics.com, Neil Diamond Lyrics. See, I think it's warm touching warm. Ipsy, I think it is to one touching one. That sounds stupid. Uh, it, uh, it really does sound stupid. These idiots write these lyric sheets. Yeah, they don't know the lyrics And they either. misheard them too. So warm stupid touching warm. Gits. What a relief it is. <laughs> oh, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, <laughs> baby. Uh, but I still have a strange relationship with language. Something, uh, maybe, huh? maybe ADD or something when I'm hearing... The whole package, the music and the lyrics and the song. Great. Maybe the beat and the music. I, I'm more about that than actually listening to the lyric. This is warm, touching, warm. 
warm. Anyway, yeah. So yeah. So thought. this is really encouraging from a guy that that uh, his forte is is uh, letters and words and writing. <laughs> He's having a problem with the language. No, no, oh, that's awesome. I'm talking about when I'm hearing songs. <laughs> it, I'm not the only one. Oh, you don't. You have a problem with that one too? No, but it's. I think. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that one. We do pretty good with that. Oh, so my. you, yeah. Well, I mean, go ahead. Well, listen feel, to some hip hop, man. Listen sli- to some J. Cole. I sleep. I feel slightly vindicated that it's warm, touching warm. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? I think so. I mean, it makes sense to me. Unless you're a necrophiliac, it makes sense to me. Late night, warm, touching cold. Warm, touching cold. You no, know, that's no good, man. <laughs> oh boy, that's, that's disgusting. No, that's that's all. That's that's funny. But so I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. It's just a weird thing, man. I'm sure, man. Well, it, it, misheard lyrics are uh, all over the place. Oh yeah, they're like memes about it. You like uh, and it's because of the uh, delivery of of the singer, usually. Oh yeah, Elton John's bad for that. A lot of people uh, consciously, yeah, mess things they're up like gravel in their mouths and stuff. Hey, how about REM? Yeah. How about R.E.M. and the Murmur album? Oh, yeah. I mean, Michael Stipe? Come on, man. Yeah. 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 What song is that? <laughs> my, what song? My favorite R.E.M. song. I was just listening to Fables of the Reconstruction yesterday. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Anyway, what were you going to say? My favorite one. <laughs> to me, it is, uh, what's a frequency, Kenneth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Uh, to me, it sounds silly in some weird way. Yeah. But I like it. It makes me laugh. Like, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to say to an REM fan, I'm, now I'm going to, have to be misunderstood, and I'm going to have to clarify what I meant. Um, See, there you go. Why do you have, feel the need to do that? No, I do stress that somebody might misread or misunderstand something I said. Or like did. if you if you did a parting shot leaving a uh, a room or something, yeah, and, that, say, and then try you, to say a, a joke on the way out. Yeah, and then you could tell something wasn't received right, and then someone says, "Ooh." No, or whatever, and then they leave, or that you try to find, and them. you think you they're try to find them it. to clarify that shit. You think they're sweating it later, and then you talk, find them a couple days later. Hey, remember what that thing I said? No, I what thing? What the hell are you talking about? And you lost sleep. People don't care about that. that People kind don't of care. Stuff. And even if they did, the boat has sailed already. Well, aren't you precious? <laughs> yes. Are you a little precious, man? Be a little less fresh, less fresh, less, less fresh. Yeah, people don't really care, man. No, I don't think so. Man, I can't believe it's Father's Day again. Why can't you believe it? I don't know, man. Because it happens every year. Weeks turn into years, just like that, man. It's yeah. Cool. Oh man. Well, I can't believe I can't believe a year goes by every time the Kentucky Derby comes and goes. It's a marker for me. Why the Kentucky Derby? I don't know. Randomly, it's because it comes around so soon, and the Masters. That's how I mark time. I didn't really know you were like sports guy. I'm not. That's some crazy stuff. But now, I mean, we. I, when I think about our kids being now they like adult Ooh. children, adult children. So no. <laughs> adult. Hey, man, a, my daughter Katie has a kid. I don't mean adult children, but yeah, but isn't that what it is? That's your my, the, my Milesy is is uh, over a, a year old now. I can't believe that either, man. Yeah, but Katie, I love you. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. What oh, my God. It? I mean, they were little once. Yeah, they were little once. And they didn't stay little, and their carters didn't wear out. Yeah. Well, maybe you can get some top dollar off that stuff, man. <laughs> I have a couple old pieces of clothes from when, when Wes and Taylor were like two. Why? Just because in my old age, I want to sift through everything. and what? Well, it's time. Get, get to it, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. And uh, by oh the way, happy God. Father's Day to my son-in-law, Bill. You guys got got two two awesome kids, Elijah and Miles. Oh, my God. God bless you. My, my, my main guys. Elijah, my main man. I hope you're giving your dad a good happy Father's Day. And our dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Gone, yep. too, gone too soon. Happy Father's Day to all the dead dads. Yes, that's a very good idea to wish our dead dads a happy Father's Day. Yep. Uh, oh, man. Betsy's dad, this is her first Father's Day without him. Oh, that's terrible too, man. The first year's the worst, man. Yeah. When losing, losing somebody. Yeah. 
Remember, Dad taught us to read. Oh, uh, yeah. That was crazy. We were about three. Yeah. The little books were We Three and We Three and Scotty. I yes. remember those books. And I taught Katie to read. Using that book? Yeah. We, Betsy and I taught Katie to read. Oh, my God. That's awesome, Had about man. three. Yeah. Yeah. D- he also, Literacy means something, man. It does. Hey, look it up if you don't know what that word means, Roger. And... Uh, he, Dad also used to sing to us all the time. Yeah, sure did. And, um, His own little ideas on the fly or whatever, or just songs like You Are My Sunshine. Yeah, he used to Getting sing, to know you. Yeah, getting to know you. Mm-hmm. Oh, all that stuff. God, that sounded like almost Judy Garland singing that song. That was amazing, that. man. He was pre- he was an encouraging guy. Always wanted us to be, wanted us to be upbeat. Mm. Sent us to tap dancing lessons. Oh, oh yeah. You're not my cup of tea. No, but the, it, it was fun to try to tap. Dance. Not really. Oh, that. No, it wasn't fun to me. It wasn't fun. We no. we, we protested by not moving our arms. I've ended up protesting by not going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Going to little Al, going to Al Main's little place in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. That that that's crazy. But he did he did wish the best for us, Dad. He I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, man. Yeah. Uh, what I'm, the hell, man? Hey, you need any uh, anything to enhance your energy? What? What? What do you? What do you got? I got an eight ball. Eh, no thanks, man. No, because I'm gonna hit you over the head with it in a second. You it's have, a it's a round black ball with an eight on it. You have a real eight ball? No, I don't. No, that is a real eight ball. If you're gonna knock me on the head with it, yeah. Oh, you know. It's, hey, if you do that eight ball, it's bad for your teeth. <laughs> Listen, buddy. You know. You know. Uh, yeah, I've been sober for uh, almost seven years now. So. Good for you. Huh. Good for you. But wait a minute. That's, that's your problem. Wait, 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 but, but wait a minute. <laughs> but wait a minute. That's not booze. No. Hey, hey. That's your problem. Oh, brother, you're a trip. Man. I'm just kidding. I don't drink either. I know that. That's awesome. I'm very proud. Over of you. a year now, man. Whoa. Whoa! Big deal. <laughs> you're so you just you know you lose interest, man. You're so messed you know? up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's on. A, it, it's it's a personal thing, man. Yeah. Some people need to stop, and some people don't, and some people just want to stop. Yeah. No big deal. If you don't care about it, listen. It's not going to take me anywhere I haven't been before. I want to go where no man has gone before, man. Yeah, yeah where would that, where would that be? And what do you need for that? Oh, probably uh, quietness and confidence and yeah, uh, and LSD. I'm uh, <laughs> just kidding. Ha 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 ha. All that, all that was fun. I wouldn't say it was spiritual for me. It was just fun. It was experimental. Yeah, it was. It was fun. Yeah, I mean. I didn't have any like any bad trips. No, me neither, man. I, I couldn't say I had this kind of mountaintop existential revelation. That's a shame. Did you? Sure. No, I mean like we made friends with a parking meter. That's nothing. One oh one five. One oh one five is alive. <laughs> Why do we like one oh one five so because much and not one oh one four? Well, we focused in on that one in that line on Orange. On Orange Drive. Just by about Holl- Hollywood Boulevard yeah. there. 101.5. And we felt bad for 101.5 because it was stuck in the concrete away from its buddies. Couldn't move, couldn't yeah. do anything. But he could shout over to his buddy, hey, how's it going over there? I'm just marking time. Hey, man, how about 9.99? Oh, you, we, he'll never hear us. <laughs> <laughs> they were all hey. together at the factory. Hey. 1012, what's going on? Send it down the line. I t- tell 999 I said hello. 1012, what's up with you? 1019, Chomp. are you feeling fine? 1015 is still alive. And which one would rhyme with ra- range? Like, da- hey, parking meter down the range is still chomp and change. <laughs> still chomp Strange. and change. Oh, that's pretty funny, man. 101999 <laughs> down the range is still chomp and change. Yeah. Oh, that's funny, man. That's when. You had to only put, you could only put change in there. Yep. Now you barely find one that you can put change in. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dad. On our, Dad died on our 21st birthday. That was weird. Yeah. Way to screw up our our birthday, Dad. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Happy Father's Day. 
<laughs> and happy birthday, boys. Oh, yeah, uh, that's terrible, man. I got it. Yeah, I figured he, he we made it to 21, and that was kind, that was kind of uh, existential mountain. Yeah, why do people have to attach meaning to, to occurrences? Pe- I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> meaning, we, man search for meaning. Yes, yes, man search for meaning. Oh, vanity of vanities, that, all is vanity. That Victor Frankel? Uh, or was it Abraham Maslow? It's no, I think it's Victor Frankel, man. I, I totally think it is. Logotherapy. What's that? You like you go like make a whole bunch no, of logos. Don't be stupid. That's true. Did you ever read that book? A Man's Search for Meaning? No, but I've been meaning to for twenty years. Isn't that the name of it? Yes, Man's Search for Meaning. Yes. I have that book somewhere. I'd like to borrow it, please. Okay. As a matter of fact, yeah. You can have it. But bring it back. Dad used to say, uh, you can borrow it, but just remember it's a dress. It's a dress? You borrow yeah. dresses from no, Dad? No, just, oh, just remember it's a dress. Uh, <laughs> he loaned me a pen. Just remember it's a dress. Well, check this out. How many books has everyone lent to people that have never been seen again? That's That really seemed to happen to you the most. Why did it happen to me? People uh, have stolen books from me. Because you didn't really vet the people you were giving the books to? I told one guy he couldn't borrow a book. And for some reason, we had a party at my apartment. Some reason. And he after a gig, and he, he stayed, spent, he crashed, and he was eyeing the book, eyeing the book. In the morning, he was gone, and so was the book. It was called, uh, it was by Joe Smith. Oh. Oh, Hitman? Yeah, no. no. No, I keep screwing that up. Well, I'll find a link to it. But anyway, I ended up years later, because I wanted it in my library, just buying a used copy on Amazon. Oh, yeah. Has anyone ever returned a book to you? Sure. Mm-hmm. I have. I've you, given books away. Well, you've loaned them, and you always demand that I do. I see that South Carolina history by Walter Egger down there that I was planning on stealing, but now it's back on your shelf. Yeah, it's where it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's okay. No, I forgot the name of the Joe Smith book, but it's about the record business. He used to be my boss at Capitol. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Well, maybe maybe that person will return the book to you someday. Nah, I have the I have another copy. How about about busting another friend of yours with your Ray Bans on? He stole them. <laughs> but the thing is, how do you know they're the same Ray? Because I knew he was a thief. Yeah, and he didn't he didn't have Ray Bans before. You no, know, and all of a sudden mine were missing, and I hear he comes down the street with. The same exact. I should have engraved my initials on him. I little- probably could have snapped them off his head and, and demanded that I have him. He would have given them back. Yeah, but you could have like had this secret little etching on it. Yeah, he tried to steal my Walkman. How could? What do you mean he because tried? Because he came over. He goes, "I'm going to the beach. Uh huh. Um, can I borrow your Walkman? Oh no. This is before all that. I said, "Yeah, man, but make sure it comes back." Dude, was there sand yeah. in it? Yeah, and no, shit? no, it was fine, but. So I saw him a couple days later. I said, man, where's my Walkman? He goes, oh, I, I lost it. What? I said, I don't care if you lost it or not, but you better find it and bring it back. Or buy me another one. Guess what? The next day it was back. I that was a thief, man. That's pretty damn uh, assertive of you. Well, you got to be sometimes, man. No. <laughs> I, well, you know, with the gun in his mouth, he really didn't have much to oh, say. Oh, yeah, 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 that's that's right. That's in your that's in your uh, gun in his mouth. That's in your talking to yourself in the mirror, drunk yeah. late at yeah. night, thinking ways. And to all get I had to do was you. ask for it, man. I I said, man, I don't care. I want that back. I, I knew he was going to try to yeah, pull that on me. You don't say I lost it. You give a brand new one. Yeah. Why not? I mean, that's what you do. Because well, the only way he'd get a brand new one is to steal it. Well, but it wouldn't be from stealing from you. No, that's true. You had already stolen from you. Then you'd have to steal one from something else, someone else. It's like a Ponzi scheme. It's adding steal, steal one from somebody else, and then that guy confronts him, and you steal one from the next person and give it to that person. That's like living on credit cards. It's like that, and yeah, a Ponzi scheme. Um, yeah. Well, the Walkman adding Ponzi scheme. piling bad karma onto bad karma, throwing good money after bad. Yeah, I'm sick of that. What does that mean? It means, it means screwing up with your money, man, <laughs> and then trying to spend a lot of money to fix it. Like yeah, yeah, like like spending a lot of money on a bad investment and then trying to trying to fix it. Oh, yeah. by spending more money. Oh, or it's like gambling. Oh yeah, losing yeah. a bunch on the tables and then oh I'll I'll get 
I'll be back up. I'll be back up. I'm going to I'm going to gamble my paycheck at well, that. Yeah, I'm going to the ATM. You need any money? Yeah, but but or there's a, if you don't have it, you can gamble if you have your paycheck. There used to be these little cages that you can flip with dice in it and you could just gamble your paycheck. Really? Yes, in Vegas. Oh, that's so sweet of them. I mean, it's so nice. Oh yeah. I mean, it's lovey-dovey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almighty. The things we uh, we humans do, stupid things, yeah, man. Like kicking the can down the road with shit instead of taking action immediately. I don't I'm not a real take action kind of guy. I have to I have to ruminate for quite some time. I have to get I have to stew in whatever choice I'm going to make. Right? Some people say if you act even if it's wrong, at least you've acted. Well, that's how it should be. Yeah. I've paralyzed myself with overthinking. Oh man, yes. Per- and perfectionism. Preach it. Preach I'll it. never be perfect. I know it comes as a surprise to you guys. I thought you were perfect. Well, I think I am, but still. Perfectly ridiculous. <laughs> no, yeah. No, no, and I, I've stopped myself so many times. Like like navel-gazing instead of... It's a character flaw. Me too. I, the thing is, there's a sense of liberation, though, when you make that call. And actually, it is. It doesn't matter. Just make a decision. What are you going to eat for dinner? It comes down to even that. Well, I don't know. That's great. I got that. Ugh. I got that, but I also have that, like I said, that... Not wanting to be misunderstood and making sure I, I could clarify it, it. Those are little character things that you shouldn't care about. We met uh, some baby twins the other night at a gig we were playing at Lulu's. Baby twins. So we were playing and, and I guess the grandfather looking guy came up with a little tiny baby really grooving to the music. Yeah, that's into- so cute. That kid was looking looking at right at us and yeah, it, it was cool. And- that- and then he came back, left, and then came back. I thought it was the same kid, but he was acting different. So, it, but it was, it was. Turns out it was his another kid. It, they were twins. That was so cute, man. So cute, man. And then they both came up together, and you can tell they had different personalities, but they looked the same. No, it was really cool. Um, they were sweet. We got a picture. They, they, we invited them on stage to take a picture. I was talking to that one little kid. You, go, you're gonna have so much fun, and the dad. That was a grandfather with who was carrying, but the, uh, clearly the dad dad was there. And I go, you're gonna have so much fun, the dad and mom, and uh, you're gonna have so much fun. I goes, I don't know about you guys. Though. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah. Poor parents, man. Being parents of twins, ooh, maybe that's you know. Oh, you know how it is. Uh, I wouldn't say dad might still be alive if we didn't move in with him. I mean, uh, he's not going to be alive now. He'd be like 104 <laughs> or whatever. How, yeah, yeah. How, how old would he be? 106. He was born in yeah. 1914. Oh my god! Yeah, 106. No, maybe he would have gotten a couple of good, good more more years had we not moved in. Do we cause his aneurysm? I don't know. I don't. Why do you? So. How can you even think stuff like that, man? No, I think I. I don't know. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> oh, you're killing. Oh, oh, you boys are killing me, man. Your boys are killing. But it's a. It's the people who he say never that. said that. It's the people who say that who live a, a good long yeah. time. You'll be the death of me. Yeah, and they they outlive the kid. You don't know that. I, who, <laughs> no, you don't know that. Who really does know that? Nobody. But then if I say it enough, people believe it. Then when when you die, people will say, well, shit, I guess it was my fault. It was my fault. If I had only turned that way and went down the hall that way, mm-hmm. this person would still be alive today. If I said yes instead of no. Well, one guy I used to work with if said- If I said stop instead of go. Yes, but one of my one of my coworkers back in the, this insurance company I worked with in Glendale said, "Oh my God, I woke up that side of the bed again, and and another plane crashed." Yeah, uh huh. I mean, I, and the way he said it, I really I don't know if he's got a very very dry sense of humor, or if he was a batshit crazy. That's some crazy. People think that man. That's weird, man. Or if I would have prayed that day. Yeah. That wouldn't have happened. Yes, that's right. Oh. I mean, you got to surrender to God. God knows what's up. You praying that day? Yes. I mean, is that going to affect something in in uh in Tibet, you know? I know and also some of this says something. Don't talk don't say that. Like if you can't Oh yeah, don't don't it, uh, don't say that because that'll or, or don't like the spoken word's important, but it doesn't matter. Like when it when it has to do with somebody else. No, it's like, oh my God, you're going to bring that on them. No, no, I don't really, really don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, thoughts are things and words have power. Yes, they do. 
Words do have power. But I mean, uh, here's give me some, a break. Give me a break. Here's some words. I mean, I believe in the power of prayer. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, and I believe in the power of speaking things. But don't make it some kind of weird superstitious yeah, pseudo-religious. No. It's not about that. That's no. man-made crap. I don't go for it. That is excellent. You know the power of words also? I, yeah, I, I got some words that are pretty powerful. Here are some I words. I say to you right now. Here are some words. I have to go to work, so I have to go. What are you reading these days? Anything interesting? I am reading, oh, it's a book about the 1920s, and I think it's it's something like Only Yesterday or Just Yesterday. It was a book written in the 30s about the 20s. Oh, yeah. And I didn't realize you were going to bring that up, but it's very interesting. I'm about 80 pages in. It's It's a close perspective to the 20s, written in the early 30s, I think. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. It's cool. I'm going to find the link to it. It's really cool so far. I just randomly, it was a mentioned in a creative nonfiction book I was reading, a book about creative nonfiction. I decided to look for it and buy it if I had to, but it was part of on my prime reads for that, free. Oh, that's cool. But I get to borrow it. I can't keep it. So? so I, exactly. You don't know. You pretend someone took it off your shelf and never brought it back. Yeah, but I mean, I could I could keep my highlights and stuff, and it just sends me an yeah. index. I oh, I know that, but I'm reading finally Wallace Stegner. I've, I've been wanting. To, I've been. I wrote his name down on a post-it note. I'm looking at it on my, one of my studio monitors right now. With some authors I wanted to check into. I'm reading a book called Crossing to Safety. <clears throat> I found in a used bookstore in uh, Charlotte. Oh, what a great writer, man. It's great. I mean, the way he frames things and describes things, it's beautiful, man. Well done. Hey, I suggest it. I'll lend it to you. I will lend it to you, but it must come back. Can you? Can I borrow your Walkman, too? I have to go to the beach. Wait a minute. I, I bet you also got me a copy of The Letters of Noel Coward, which is oh, yeah. newish, and I've never read it. Do you not have that book somewhere? I had the Noel Coward diaries from the early 80s. Yeah. This is a... By the way, if you're in Charlotte and you want to check out an awesome used bookstore, which I wish we had one down here, but that's another story, it's called uh, Book Buyers on the Plaza. It's oh. not. It's called Book Buyers. It's on a street called the Plaza. Well, that's very nice. They got. They have. They have a little. They have an old cat that sits out in the in the front by the window. Oh, that's like and, the old uh, blue bicycle books in uh, Charleston. Yeah, and they and then they have another cat that doesn't come out. Scared of people. He's a scaredy cat. Yeah, and then it reminds me there were a lot of bookstores have cats. I went to. Was it Shakespeare and Company or was it something in uh, in the Village? Oh, of course. Uh, I don't remember the name of the bookstore, but it's funny that you did. You say White Bicycle? I think it's Blue Bicycle. Oh, books. I bought a book called White Bicycle or White Bicycles by Joe Boyd. Oh, in New York. But it was a uh, this guy was is an English uh, produce uh, music producer, and it was an interesting book. But it's funny. Anyway, that, that's interesting. Cats but, and bookstores. Yeah, you don't really want a like a bull mastiff greeting you at a bookstore. Or chihuahuas. Or or, 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 or chihuahuas. Or or Roddy's as friendly as you, they are. Or how about a nice little uh like a, a golden retriever or something? Oh yeah, that would be nice in a bookstore. Yeah. Oh, sure. That's nice. Or you can be a greeter. Just I, hang around be, a bookstore. Be yeah. ha- happy to be a greeter. And now I have to go greet somewhere else, so I must away. Well, I'm going to try to edit this to make some sense of all this okay. because it sounds like a pile of shit. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Well, it, at any rate, I'm happy to be here and I'll try not to edit myself next time. No, you will. Now you're already thinking about next time, just like you're thinking about your next passage in a song you're playing. Okay. You can't just be here now. Okay, Ramdas. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I'm I'm digging the uh, digitizing Ram, Ram Dos. No, yeah, yeah. Ram Dos. <laughs> All right. We've talked about that before. I got to Yeah, dig- stupid. You got a lot of digitizing to do. Next, we need a reel to reel player and I must go. Oh, it's funny. I dreamt that I found one last night in some kind of uh, some kind of store. I had one in my hand. Yeah. And I said, man, I got to make sure this thing works. And it didn't. And then I woke up. It, I didn't get to test it. That's, like, that, that's funny. Like Dreams like that, sometimes it, <laughs> it looks great, but it's not doing what you want it to do. No. Or then it becomes three feet thick or something. Yeah, and or, be, or, it, or, be, or it becomes something else. And it's that's, Or the handles, the little switches are so tiny that you yeah, There's can't. something up with it. Yeah. That's, that's uh, okay. Or like I've had guitars in my dreams trying to play. The neck is like two feet wide. <laughs> 
and, and you know what I mean? Just, yeah. Oh, what's going on with this thing? It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, all right. And I never once got high in a drug dream. No, you're always, you see the drugs. And you even might try to do it. No. I have, but nothing happens. No, nothing happens. Or, yeah. And what's the point? In dreams, you can fly anyway. Yeah, but when I get high, my dreams die. But for now, I'd rather fly than be asleep. I make promises I can't keep. Oh, boy. That was an old one of mine. That's pretty good. Do this, you have, do, this, do, hey, here's do you have miles one. to go before you sleep? No, no, but uh, your soul is in the bowl. Light it up and burn out your dreams. <laughs> okay. wow. Hey, man, you know? Well, <laughs> okay. Wow, man. That's some, that's some deep shit, but I have to go now. I love you, man. Yeah, have fun, man. Now, remember, you get to go to work. You don't have to. Thank you very much. Uh, you really don't have to. Think about and, it. And as Andre De Shields once said in The Wiz, I don't gotta do anything. That's right. And remember, man, that's not writing. That's typing. Sh- shout out to Joe. A strike from last week. That was awesome. Actually, shout out to, to, to Truman, Truman Capote. Capote. Talk to you Ca- Capping on old Kerouac, but... uh. Yeah. Anyway, we're the Yale brothers. This is sort of episode 42. Might have, might as well have been typing on a to- toilet roll. <laughs> uh, Yale brothers at gmail.com. And uh, one more thing, rock and roll. <laughs>